Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, then welcome. And if you are a current subscriber, then welcome back. So today I am going to be doing makeup using things that you can just grab from the drugstore. Have you ever walked into Target, like went through the makeup section because just like, you know, going on a little field trip, Walgreens, a little makeup section, and you see just, it's a plethora, a plethora of crap to choose from. And you're like, I wanna do my makeup but I don't even know what to get to mix or even begin to just, like what? What am I supposed to do? Like what? It's just it's just too much, it's too much. Um, so yeah, that's why I am here. So I know like I do buy a lot of high-end products, but I also know if you are new to makeup, the last thing you wanna do is start spending tons of money on something that's not your color. I still have foundation that when I first started, the professional she told me like okay this is your color and then it, it wasn't I realized that hey I really should be either highlighting or contouring with that particular shade but as I started doing it more and more start doing exactly what you're doing here on YouTube trying to figure out what works how to do it how much it's gonna cost me I don't want to waste no money but I also want to learn and I don't want it to be technical and I don't want it to take all day so that's that was my thinking of that so that is why I am here for you today so Everything that I have here is from either Walgreens, Target, CVS. Um, I think that's it. I think everything that I have here, including lashes, I think you can get everything from the drugstore or like the beauty supply, like, you know, stuff like that. The beauty supply store. So just want to make this real simple. Well, no, will. Real quick and real easy. Here I am using the Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil. I don't use this a whole lot because I do have my favorite, but in either case, this is still good. You can still get your eyebrows done with this right now. Okay, so that is the brows just kind of laid down a little base. Next, I am going to be using the NYX mascara. What is this? The NYX tinted brow mascara. Mascara? I need to look some naked hair. Come on. I like to use this to, um, this is kind of like, um, kind of tames your brows and it also helps to set them in place. You can use this over your brow pencil or by itself. Okay, to arch out my brows, I am going to use the Maybelline Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer. And this is in the color Olive. So the next, I am using the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer, and this is in the color Mocha. And I'm using this color over my brow because it's a little darker. And I picked this one. I think I got this from Walgreens. You know how they have those um, kiosks in the middle? The Walgreens are doing that now. So I picked up, and this is an old one too, this is the Maybelline City Mini Palette by Shayla. I've had it for a minute, I'm gonna take the top off so you can see I've been digging into this thing. It's kind of a neutral palette and it is definitely dark girl friendly, especially like this color here. Like it really does show up on our skin, so let me show ya. I 
Also, you guys see me blending. We added, oh my gosh, minutes. <laughs> minutes of blending out. It looks like we're just doing it for a couple of seconds, but it actually, it goes a while to make it look right. Just edit it out because then the videos will be super duper long. So when you're doing this, just make sure that you're blending enough so you don't have any rough edges. And I like that these shades are um, buildable as well. Next is at some lashes, and these are Eyelore by London. I don't know. I got them from, um, heck, I don't know where I got these from. Where did I get these things from? Target, I think. Wait, I don't even know where the other one is. I just noticed it. Okay. Let's... I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and add these lashes, guys, and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I have my lashes on. I am going to hydrate my skin. I'm using the Olay Mist. Got this from Target. And it's just good to, you know, it's got vitamin C and stuff like that in it. Mm. Feels amazing. So I'll let that dry. Um, I did not line my upper lash line because I feel like with these lashes being as full as they are and then adding too much of a liner, I think it'll take away from the look or like my vision for this look. That way you can kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of see kind of what I'm trying to do here. So that is why um, I did not line my upper lash line. Sometimes I get it right. Sometimes the, 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 sometimes the eyelash just be like hanging on for dear life, but I think I got them on pretty decently enough now. So that dries pretty fast, actually. Pretty, pretty, pretty dry. Uh, what am I going to use next? I am going to use the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. Use that because the girl got pores. And I want to look like I don't have pores. I want to look like... Um, I can't even think of anybody. I want to think of my daughter's skin. She doesn't have pores. I want to look like that. But then she is a teenager and then I'm not. So I'm going to use the CoverGirl, not the CoverGirl, what is this? This is Roll Stay Matte Primer. And uh, I'm just going to put that over top of that. Now, now foundation. Mm -hmm. For foundation, I'm going to use the Maybelline Super Stay foundation. It's been beat up pretty badly. Like, I don't even know why that's hard, but it's on there. And this is in the color 356 Warm Coconut. I did do a review on this particular foundation, but I'll link it. That way you guys can check it out. It's super full coverage. That's why I like it. Uh oh. 
I probably need to do like a dupe or something because some of these drug foundations, they are winning. Yeah. I mean, who child, look at that. Ooh. Put on too much. It's a little orange. I think I mixed two of them when I did the review. It's like I'm paint. Oh, I think I put too much. Clearly, clearly I put too much. Oh, yikes! Ooh. paint my face and the fact I have his orange shirt on is just making it I look less scary now is it still super scary is it less like girl what are you putting on your face is it less like that now and like okay I kind of see it coming together it's almost gone too let me tone that down Ooh. Oh, brother, what did that do? Mm. I'm actually gonna go in with a Fit Me, like in like a super really chocolatey, pretty color, and this is 380. I'm actually gonna use this as my um, contour. Let's put color back here. Like, wow. Oh, it's so pretty. Whatever you mess up, your foundation brush kind of becomes an eraser, you know? right here in front of me. This is the uh, Ruby Kisses 3 Door Contour Palette, but I'm gonna be using one of these shades to, uh, look at all them, look. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? Let's look at what I normally use. I, use, I normally use the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish to powder off. But let's see, which one of these match better? Like what I use this color here that color there uh, I like that one that's what I was thinking too and pop it here because it's so pretty and that sun is just came it just she just came out of nowhere she just came out of nowhere but we do need to go in back into this oh no come on son sorry guys I had to adjust my my window blinds because the sun just came out of nowhere and just didn't give us any warning um, but yeah, I'm going to be using this Ruby Kisses, the contour palette again. I think it came with an old BoxyCharm subscription. We're going to be using our oldie but goodie 
an oldie but goodie, and that is the Queen uh, CoverGirl collection in the color of Ebony Bronze. Man, I use this in a minute. Now this one, you have to be careful because they're not selling it in the stores. I got this from, I think I ordered it from Amazon. So, uh, oh, but let's be my ride and die. You can use this eyeshadow, but today we're gonna be using it just for its sole purpose, which is to bronze. Mm. Look at that, just, oh, just so nice. So nice. Mm. Lovely. Oh, that's on the uh, For my lower lash line, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. So we got next. We have lips and um, highlight next. All right. So we are going to use the Milani Sun Glow Luminous Strobe Light. Ooh. Can you see it? Come on, Milani, you got that con through, honey. We're gonna use this eyeliner, this NYX eyeliner pencil for our lips. Rub your lips together when you put on a uh, lip liner so that you don't have that black ring around your lips because uh, that's my cute sis. Maybe in the 90s. Oh, I'm just putting it on. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and this is in the color London. So I'll get it. If you can't blend it, then just get you some like a concealer brush or something like that. And just, uh, blend all that together. I'm going to be taking the uh, Black Radiance lip gloss, and this is in the color brand Nude. You get a perfect, perfect finish every single time with this because it's like it's not clear, but it just enhances anything you put it on. Like for real. Though. Thing. Oh, setting spray. Got the. I got a lot of NYX products now that I'm looking at it. Um, NYX. Okay. Uh, this is the matte setting spray. Oh, she come out. Did this thing come out aggressive? Whew, goodness. I mean, that. Yeah, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So. What do you guys think about this look that I created from the drug store? Yes, you. I feel like it was a lot of steps. I wasn't trying to make it a lot of steps, but I mean, overall, what you guys think? Mm, this wig is hot on my neck. Here it off, because uh, it's hot. And I swear when I wear this wig, it's never like straight down. I go back and try to look back through the viewfinder I can't see. And then when I'm editing, it's like it's like 22 degrees north of where it should be. Okay? Okay. Okay. But yeah, that's fine. Look, guys, like we made a whole look, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, as always, see this hair. It's just, it will not let me be cool. Okay. Okay, guys. So I also wanted to mention that um, don't think just because something comes from the drugstore that it can't be worked out, that it's not any good. Some of them are trash, but some of them are like amazing. Same thing with like higher end brands. Just because something has a hundred dollar price, just because something has a hundred dollar price tag on it, does not mean that it's worth a hundred dollars. Sometimes they just mark that stuff up because they figure if they try to mark it up, people are gonna think it's expensive expensive even though it's not because then you know there's a you know supply and demand and then the marketing strategies and all and the stuff be trash trash so 
no matter what the cost is, whether it's low end, whether it's high, if it's something that you feel like you need, feel like you want, uh, feel like it's gonna be good, then guess what? Treat yourself, don't cheat yourself. And that means whether you're going to Walgreens or whether you're going to Neiman Marcus or whether you're getting it offline or you're going to Sephora, it doesn't matter. Just make sure, just do your research. Just do your research. That's why I like to use products from all over. Okay, that's the, I'm done now. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Okay. Okay, oh, I just messed up all oh, my hair. Still cute though. As always, thank you guys so much for coming to my channel. If you have not done so, please subscribe. Make sure you guys give me a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.